We got truck, the trailer, the slightly modified racing truck. You guys, you guys are both filming? Oh my god, I got oh my god. You two, so I gotta bust out the camera. camera as flexing? soon as I get out of that damn car. This is the good camera. I yeah. never filmed with this. Why so. have my shit out? <laughs> you guys all look like amateurs. I bought this camera for $400 like five years ago and we're still using it. We out here. Alright guys, today is the day we are finally driving the S13. Waiting for the gates to open up. Yeah, we're waiting for the gates to open up so we can pull up, unload the car. But we're, we're here. We're going to drive it for the first time and I'm excited. We got our stickers all set. I don't know how well you can see that. We're at a lot of works, slightly modified, clear Gucci. So, yeah. See you guys when we get inside, get everything unloaded, and we'll be good to go. All right, guys, we're under the new cabanas at Apple Valley Speedway. We got the cars out, warming up, slightly modified. <laughs> but yeah, we got the 180, the Sylvia. This one's real. This one's, a, this one's a fucking Soviet rep, but it's all good. So, um, yeah, we're just letting her warm up. We're gonna get text, and then we're just gonna give her her first rips. This is gonna be tight. I'm excited. If I can find some clips, I'll put it in here right now. We just went for the first test drive. Garza's trying to fix a tiny fuel leak. Hopefully. So there's a small fuel leak, hopefully we can fix that. I had a few issues. Car ran great, but we did pop a little, one of our little caps right there. So we're trying to figure out how we're gonna block that off. But other than that, car ran great. Did the whole track, and she felt good. These, I don't know if it's the tires, or the alignment, but this car is really grippy and I'm not used to grip, so uh, we're trying to figure that out. But it feels really good, so yeah, I'm just gonna try to get more clips for you guys. <laughs>
So sad for you, Chris. I cry. I cry from here. Oh no. She still looks dialed though, bro. You just broke a headlight tab. That's it. out what happened well you see my second lap out was fucking great we went the whole entire track so when i went out with rj i was trying to film the sauce but a little too confident and i stepped it a little too hard and as you can see i don't know if you can hear me but it still runs but yeah gotta do some fixing look at what happened and we'll figure it out <laughs> So now he's got a crowd around him. He's crashed his car. Okay, so right now, RJ is driving Chris's car and Chris is driving Garza's car. So we'll see how this goes. Chris's car. Look, my car's over there fucked up too. <laughs> Holy shit. inner tie rods this time I sheared at the outer where it goes into the knuckle and I'll take half the <laughs> But I'll fix it, Your legs fucked up. Come here. Hey, you want me to fucking carry you? Come here. Hold my hand. Well guys, the rival knuckle ain't looking so good right now. This is Chris's camera. Pony Pony told me to film. Don't look at it. I'm gonna need this footage. Don't look at it. What happened, guys? What's the damage? No, 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 no. Let me let's see it. It's all right because this was the cracked wheel, actually. So whatever. Uh, uh, so yeah, it's a brand new tie rod. So are yours, right? Yeah. Is it cross member bent? Oh. oh yeah, that motherfucker snapped clean off. Damn, the fucking the whole thing is still in there. We decided to go out to take the cars out, but I took Garza's car and we actually let RJ take my car. And I don't know what happened, but both of us broke the same exact tie rod at the almost the same exact time. Um, I was trying to link this back straight right here, and I got it was just a little too short, caught the inside of the turn, and 
snatched here the um, tire rod clean off. So we're loading everything up right now, getting it back to the pits, and we'll see what we gotta do. I'm sorry. Ready? I got. I fucked up. It's all right, dog. It would have <laughs> happened to me, or would have happened to anyone else. Heads up. Oh, good. Okay. We're all loaded up in the trailer. They're towing us back. And we'll see what happened in my car too. I think after this we need to hit the ice cream truck, bro. Brandon, it's hot in here. I feel your pain. Thanks, bro. Sorry you didn't get to drive my car, but if you would have drove it, you would have broke it. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't pull a rookie move like that, Chris. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Brandon. It's just you know, Chris Day. Literally, Brandon was, I wasn't doing that corner, and Brandon was like, no, look, feathered into that corner and just go do, do it. it. And then I was like, I babied it into what he was telling me. He was like, no, nah, bro, give it more sauce. Well, no, what I'm saying is in that section, you 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 get on it, you hold the line, and then you hold e-brake. Uh-huh, what well, he said. It, yeah. it didn't work that well. You should have held e-brake, Chris. I did. Well, you didn't even get the e-brake before you fucking smashed ah. into that shit. I was holding it when I smashed into it. Ah, shit. Yeah, oh, wait, so, so it wasn't the rival Knuckles fall you hit something? I, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, that's good. Stop. We're good right here. Stop. Stop. What do we break? We broke. We bent the inner tie rod, sheared the outer tie rod, tension rod, I don't know. We for sure bent the lower control arm, and I bent the fork out of that uh, tension rod bracket. And um, on my car, pretty much kind of the same thing. Tie rod sheared right off. My lower control arm's a little, it's, it's kinked right there, but I don't think it's bent. Tension rod bracket looks good. I think the power brace probably saved that. But yeah, you can see here, the outer tire had to shoot right off, so um, RJ is going to run to the auto parts store for, auto part store for us. We're going to get it all fixed up just so we can get it on the trailer, then we'll see what we're going to do from there. Alright okay. guys, as you can see, we're back home. It's a few days now. Oh, I haven't touched the car since we got back. I just unloaded it and left it here. So, we are going to do a full video next week of all the damages done to the car. But, gladly nothing bad nothing really major broke all pretty much only purely aesthetics so all that we can get fixed and all that we'll get it taken care of at the end of the day the car did great it performed exactly how i wanted it to i want a grip and grip is what i got out of the car uh which one i do want to point out it wasn't i highly doubt it was the hot rival knuckles fault in our situations at the track i went off at the entry hit the wall nothing broke I'm pretty sure it had probably had stress cracks after that. And when RJ went off, it just finally sheared right off. So I don't blame RJ at all, but he got me taken care of. With Garza's car, there's a few more things that we that I broke on his car, but I got him taken care of. I got brand new tension rod brackets in that box right there. And got new control arms and everything on the way. So thank you, Jason, for helping us out with help getting us new parts for the parts that we broke or that I broke. But nonetheless, car's great. Stay tuned for next week's video with the whole list of things that we have to repair and all the damage that we've created. But like I said, I couldn't have asked for a better first test day. Maybe a little bit. I, could, I probably could have dealt without the crashing, but oh well, it happens. Car did great. But we're going to get this car all back together, make it look pretty, get some wheels, some paint, and make it look absolutely beautiful. Now that we have our first test day, we know what the car needs what we want for the car so we can get this thing all back together and then painted one color with the nice wheels and this thing's gonna look gorgeous so you guys know what to do like comment subscribe thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoy our first track day in our cars and we'll see you next week peace out guys